All right, thank you, Leanne. Air quality remains a big concern with the amount of chemicals at this particular site. WXI 12's Ford Hatchet spoke with several people monitoring those efforts. He's live on Reynolds Court just outside of the evacuation zone. So Ford, what did they tell you? Yeah, hey, Talitha, the EPA is on scene and they are helping out the Forsyth County Office of Environmental Assistance and Protection right now. They said that this smoke is impacting the air quality. They said because of the wind patterns changing, different areas of the community are going to be feeling the impact of that smoke. You can see even just in the since the last time we spoke with you about an hour ago, the smoke has really picked up here and billowing more this way. You can start to smell it a little bit more here. Uh, you know, that changing wind patterns, like they said, will likely continue to shift which communities are impacted by the smoke earlier this morning. The airnow.gov air quality rating labeled the air in Clemens and southwest Winston-Salem as very unhealthy with the air quality index reaching as high as 236. Anyone that's been inside or outside in Winston-Salem the past couple of days has at least seen or probably gotten a whiff of that plume of smoke and the rating has dropped back down a little bit this afternoon into moderate air quality levels. But Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools told us that some individual schools were altering the times that kids were allowed outside for a recess today because of those air quality concerns. And I spoke with a number of uh, sustainability and air quality experts from Wake Forest University Graduate School earlier today. They say it's important to consider not just the immediate air impacts, but also the long-term implications an event like this could cause. To an extent, a lot of people that are affected by this are going to be people of color and those that are living in poverty and those that are potentially historically have been placed near plants that have released toxins. And so I know there are going to be asthma implications and potentially long later on down the line, lung cancer prevalence among those populations. Exposures for longer periods of time are more severe than exposures for shorter periods of time. And so consequently, even if you get a spike in some of these things for a short period of time, you're less likely to be at risk than if for, for the general public than if you were exposed for a longer period of time. And experts say that people with respiratory illnesses or anything like asthma, conditions like that, should avoid to limit even those short times outside when the smoke is blowing. And the Forsyth County Office of Environmental Assistance and Protection says they believe that N95 masks can filter out some of those particles in the smoke, but they said a cloth mask likely won't do much to protect you from this particular substance. In Winston-Salem, Fort Hatchet, WXII 12 News.